So I had this piece of software that I wanted to demo to my friend who wasn't in my current physical location at the time and I did not want to host this project on a server so I needed to find a way to have my friend see what I was doing check out the piece of software on his device without actually hosting it on the internet or on the server. This was where Ngrok actually came in. I had to get an Ngrok client on my PC, which is what we're going to be talking about today. Get this piece of software called Ngrok. And now I have this software running on this particular port. So all I had to do was to copy this port over and say Ngrok HTTP and paste in the port. And now what Ngrok does for me is to give me an address. Voila. So this is what we are going to be looking at guys um, in this set of video series. We are going to be looking at how Ngrok actually works on the back end. It's bits and pieces and i'm also going to be creating an alternative to ngrok more like an ngrok clone using rust how about we dive right in guys so since i couldn't find a better illustrator i had to use my tab let's have a diagram that actually represents what we saw so say for example you have a locally running server this is a server running on your local machine right uh so this is your local server and this is running on your local machine right uh let's say this is your computer and note that we have an ngrok client on this machine so all of this setup is your local computer Now, on the other side is the internet. And we have your friends or your clients, whoever they are, that has their own computer. And they want to be able to access your website or whatever application it is that is running locally within your own domain within your own computer but it's not on the internet so what ngrok basically does is to have you connect to your own server ngrok has its own infrastructure this is ngrok server it's an ngrok server now when you initiate that particular command and if you remember the command that we actually initiated on the ngrok client we did ngrok http and our local url right what you are actually doing by doing that is initiating a tcp request so you are initiating a tcp request a connection basically you are opening a connection from your local machine to ngrok's server now note that many times there might actually be a firewall over here right there might be a firewall here because this necessarily does not have to be your local computer it can as well be a private network within a particular company that has a firewall firewall placed in front of it for security and so right so the way ngrok is able to bypass this firewall is because there is an ngrok client running on that particular private network all right now what the ngrok client does is to open a long running tcp connection now with this connection ngrok is able to make response make requests and response to your local machine all right so what you basically do is we're going to go deep down into how ngrok is able to actually achieve this 
there is a technology there's a particular protocol that is being used to achieve this we're going to go down into that so once this connection is initiated ngrub gives you a url and that's that public url that we get ngrub gives you a public url and the url is usually some hash number let's say for example zero eight two four five four ngrog.io now this public url is what you give to your friends or your clients so once your friends access this 0a245.ngrog.io what it does is because it's a public url right you are able to access this directly to the internet and the internet is able to map this url to ngrok server now note that your friends are probably making at this point they are making a request for your own page they are making a get request for your own page right this is your own page which is usually your index.html now because this particular ngrok server has an existing tunnel or which is where we are going to get to as an existing tunnel, as an existing connection opened with your local machine, it is able to send this GET request. It is able to send this GET request to your local machine. And your local machine understands what this request is. So your local machine is able to also send a response. Now, this response is what is passed from the internet down to your friends at the other side of the internet now ngrok is actually able to achieve all of this piece using what we call the tunneling protocol tunneling protocol tunneling protocol tunneling protocol is not a new thing when it comes to computer networks right tunneling protocol is basically a communication protocol which allows for movement of data from one network to another so most of the time when you are when you want to move data most of the time from a private network to probably a public network you have to use a tunneling protocol and tunneling protocol is obviously able to achieve this by what we call encapsulation encapsulation because most of the time what you are moving from the private network to the public network would usually not be allowed all right so you usually not be allowed to communicate with the private network directly because of the firewall that is before the private network but with tunneling you can create some form of a tunnel now you can move data from this tunnel make requests into this private network and you can get response right now all of this movement of packets is encapsulated right so the packet is basically encapsulated using a protocol that this private network allows so say for example this private network allows https so what this public network would do is is to wrap all of its packets into an https protocol so once it sends these packets right into this private network this private network will allow it pass if I, it would circumvent the firewall policy because if, because the private because the firewall is able to accept and read https protocol right but of course whatever client is within is able to unwrap or decapsulate um the packets and do whatever it has to do with it so that exactly is how ngrok works Right, that exactly is how ngrok works. So ngrok is able to bypass your your firewall 
right? And because there is an NGROC client within, it is able to decapsulate this particular request and send the request to your local server. So your local server is able to get the response, send it to via your NGROC client, and your NGROC client is able to use the already open tunnel to pass down the response to your NGROC server, which then passes down the response to your client. And this is how your client is actually able to able to get uh, the beautiful thing, thing that you are seeing over at your computer on this computer without actually having to host this. It gets it can get more deeper than this, but this is the surface explanation of how Ngrok actually works. Things. If I'm going to be building an alternative, there are three things I need. Uh, basically, I need the terminal. I need a terminal. I need a server. And I need a tester. Tester is going to be maybe my friend or something. Somebody that is able to connect to the internet. Right. So this is what I'm going to be building with Rust. Right. So the way it's going to work is um, this TLI would have to initiate a command to my server. And when it initiates a command, say for example, our um, block eighty. Now my server would have to respond with a particular URL, say o two four seven dot iogrog dot eighty dot io whatever it is all right so once i get this particular url to to my friend so once my friend tries accessing 0247.algro.com over the internet this is going to go to my server make a request to my server and my server can use the already existing tunnel to make a request to this local machine where this particular where this particular client where my client's client lies uh i'm totally clueless um but let's see how it goes uh i'm going to experiment this and i'm going to show you along the way what i find uh so that's gonna be it for now feel free to leave your comment down below if you have a better way of implementing this or if you have a particular project you started in this particular line that could be of help for me or a guide just let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you like the video and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this have a nice one guys cheers bye bye